All right, Weather for Weather Geeks on this Thursday evening. It is the final Weather for Weather Geeks for the month of November, December 1st, just hours away. So let's put a lid on the numbers here in the month of November. Now, we had a high of 53 today. It overachieved temperature-wise. Got a little bit warmer than we thought because there was a little less cloud cover than we bargained for. But what a nice day today and our warmest day in about a week and a half. It's been since Sunday the 19th since we've had a high uh, in the 50s, in the in the lower 50s anyway. Uh, and the month will finish very close to average. Now that 0.3 below average does not count today's numbers. I think when we factor in today's numbers, it's going to finish the, the month of November very, very close to average, maybe even right at average. Uh, we'll look at those final numbers tomorrow. But when you factor in highs and lows, yeah, that's where we get uh, the month-to-date average. The graphical display here on the calendar view is just the highs. But, you know, it was, it was kind of a back-and-forth month. We started out with chilly weather the first two days of the month, then it got warm for a week, and then it got uh, chilly for a couple of days, then it got warm for another week, and then it was chilly for a week. And this week has definitely been a little bit on the cold side with the exception of today. When it comes to total precipitation, rain and melted snow, ended up being a pretty dry month compared to the average. 1.84, the final number at the Youngstown Warren Airport, and a lot of that fell over two days. You know, we had a long stretch of zeros on the board here from the 2nd all the way through the 16th. Two straight weeks of dry weather. But we had a couple of wetter days on the 17th and 21st, making it so that, you know, the, the, the deficit for the month, not anything crazy, but still over an inch. Uh, below the average when you uh, look at precipitation totals for the month of November. Let's look ahead to December. Let's start with precipitation. Today's update from the Climate Prediction Center, part of NOAA, the National Weather Service, the U.S. government, in other words, um, showing our area kind of in the equal odds for precipitation. It could go either way or it could be very near average. I I'll tell you, I think the first couple of weeks of the month are not particularly active. We have a better chance of maybe seeing more active weather during the second half of December. Not too many areas should be abnormally dry, though, for the month as a whole, with the exception, perhaps, of parts of the upper Midwest. Now, temperatures, a little bit of a different story here. A lot of the country's kind of in the same boat here. We're expecting a warmer-than-average month, but we're going to put a caveat with this. I do think, and I, I touched on this some evening, or uh, last evening, I should say I touched on it some last evening, on Weather for Weather Geeks. Um, you know, I think this map is very heavily weighted towards the first half of the month. I think in our area and many places in the east, there will be more opportunities for cold and stormy weather second half of the month, maybe the last week to 10 days of the month. In other words, right around the uh, holidays. So it probably will come in, out in the wash as a warmer than average month, but a lot of that warmer than average weather is likely to be during the first half or so of the month of December. You know, a warm December, this is something we expected. It was a key idea in our winter forecast. It's shown over and over again in our analog years, uh, past years that have similar you know, ingredients to this year. We have El Nino and many other things going on, and usually that combination of ingredients does lead to this kind of outcome, a pretty slow start to the winter season. I kind of suspect, though, the rest of the winter will have a different flavor. And again, it may be a different flavor towards the end of the month. This is just one piece of model data. I could show you a whole bunch of stuff, but we're going to just focus on one piece. Today's run of the extended European model, sometimes we call them the European weeklies. Um, this is for the last week of the month. In other words, Christmas to New Year's, basically. Temperature anomalies. And you see pretty good signals here. A lot of blue, a lot of cooler than average temperatures advertised by the modeling from the mid-Atlantic states to the deep south and through the west, all the warmth retreats back up here. And while this is just one piece of modeling on one day, uh, there's been a theme overall going towards this idea in recent runs of the modeling. It makes sense given what's going on in the Pacific and Indian Oceans as far as tropical forcing, as we call it, the convection, the thunderstorm complexes along the equator, way out towards Asia and Australia. Well, those thunderstorm complexes can make the jet stream downstream wiggle and wave and influence the weather across North America, particularly in the uh, winter season. And the way that those thunderstorm complexes are likely to behave coming up in a couple of weeks will probably result in cooler weather for us later on in the month after a pretty mild period during the early to middle portions of December. Back here in the present, a little after 7 o'clock this evening, pretty good rain event happening across the lower Ohio Valley, the Mississippi Valley as well. Uh, severe weather remains a possibility this evening into the overnight in parts of southeastern Texas. For us, no severe weather, just a cold rain for a fair amount of Friday, several hours anyway, probably from, oh, just after daybreak in most spots, maybe 8, 9 o'clock to 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's going to rain most of that window. 
and you know at this time of the year the sun's not out the sun's not out very long it's not daylight very long in other words so it's a borderline washout tomorrow considering maybe the very start of the day and the very end of the day before sunset will be dry but everything in between is wet uh that said rainfall amounts nothing crazy here we're talking about a quarter to probably a third of an inch pretty good model agreement on our rainfall totals tomorrow so again if you're an early riser five six o'clock it's probably not raining just yet but it won't be long after that that it'll start raining. Plan on a wet midday period. Now, good news for the end of the day. Now, let's back up our model here to right around 6 o'clock or so. And this is when a lot of people will be coming to downtown Youngstown for the uh, festivities, tree lighting, the parade, uh, the flea market on Phelps, uh, Santa Claus, and all sorts of stuff going on in downtown Youngstown Friday evening. And I do think that while there could be a little fine mist, the steady rain that we'll have had earlier on in the day will be long gone. Um, so while it may be a little bit misty at worst, uh, you know, best case scenario, it's just dry um, and not that cold either. You know, temperatures have been trending upwards for the end of the day on Friday. So while it may be in the upper 30s at lunchtime, probably into the lower and in, in some places middle 40s towards dinner time Friday evening. But later in the evening and especially into the overnight, light rain becomes likely again. As our warm front continues lifting off to the north, temperatures will keep rising. We'll wake up Saturday morning near 50 degrees. Um, but a little bit damp, and the best chance for wet weather Saturday will be before about 11 a.m. to noon. The rest of the day pretty uneventful, mostly cloudy. And then we'll get into a decent period for the second half of Saturday through the first half of Sunday. But then the second half of Sunday, it's kind of the opposite of Saturday. Well, rain becomes likely again, I think, during the second half of the day on Sunday after a dry start. That'll set the stage for a pretty unsettled period, taking us into early next week. So the weekend forecast, again, pretty mild, 55 on Saturday about 50 at daybreak, and we'll warm up about 5 degrees after that point. Still mild on Sunday at 52, but that's the last time we'll see 50s for a while. I do think that uh, some 30s and 40s are, are in our future for next week for daytime highs. This is today's uh, 6 to 10 day outlook, and you know this this covers a 5 day period, right? Well, I think days 6 and 7 of this, in other words, the tail end of next week in our area, are still a little on the cool side, but days 8, 9, and 10, the following weekend, the second weekend of December, in other words, should feature a pretty good warming trend. So that's why the map kind of looks like it does with, you know, kind of a neutral zone here and a lot of warmth out here. I think a lot of this warmth is going to start coming east at the tail end of this six to 10 day period. In other words, next weekend or so. So we have some mild weather to look forward to uh, for parts or a good chunk of the first half of December. If you are hoping for a white Christmas, if you're hoping for some snow around the holidays, you know, I'm, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't exactly predict a repeat of last year's crazy winter weather at Christmas time with the wind chills of minus 30 and you know wind gusts of 60 miles per hour and all the fun we had, uh, especially on the 23rd and 24th of December uh, last year. I wouldn't you know predict this far ahead of time anything remotely close to that. But it is a favorable looking you know pattern as we look out into the future, the longer range, weeks three and four. It's a favorable pattern for colder times and perhaps snowier times especially compared to earlier on in the month. We'll talk more about uh, not only December, but the entire winter forecast when we do kind of an update to that winter forecast coming up during that first half of December. So you can uh, look forward to that uh, sometime in a couple of weeks. In the meantime, thanks for watching on this Thursday evening. Have a great rest of the night. I'll see you back here on Friday.